last time we all hung out, some crazy shit happened, which you should tell them about okay. the egg story. Well, so our youth group, like, we split up into groups, and we were going to QFC for, like, I don't know, we were gone, like, for, like, 40 minutes. Yeah, we were for, like, nearly an hour. So me and Diego, like, we go power sliding in my car a lot. This is the front-wheel drive, that's why it's power sliding. The three other people that were in the back with us, I they, had it, they hadn't necessarily been... So, uh, I was like, yeah, I'll take you guys power sliding. We, uh, went, like, a mile down the road and, like, went off into, like, the neighborhood and, uh, just started, like, power sliding, you know, like, around the neighborhood. People were giving us dirty looks. They were, like, cleaning the car, doing the garden, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, you know? And, uh, they were just, like, looking at us crazy. And I was like, okay, we need to get out of this neighborhood. Because you can only, like, while you're power sliding, you can only be in a neighborhood for about five minutes, and you gotta get out there because, like I was saying, people were looking at us. One of them most likely called a cop. So we uh, drove out of that neighborhood. I accidentally ran a red light. But no one knows that. Besides the point, everybody else knew except for me, which is bad because I'm the driver. So we pulled off into the other side of the main street, into the other side of the neighborhood, which coincidence is where my ex lives. So, so we pulled around a few cars over there. Uh, we, we went past this elementary school, and I was like, oh shit, like, we know that elementary school. And I pulled in there, no cars, just big ass, open parking lot. And I was like, There was like, like one pole in the center. No, it wasn't even that. It was a roundabout in the center. Aww. Oh, and like, yeah, so. We should go there again. Yeah. Well, like, one minute done. So we were power sighted there. It was just a giant open parking lot. It was like some pretty big ones and then there was like also a roundabout which I was going around to and there was, I think there was a, I think the couple that was walking around there they probably called I think that's that's because they kind of like they did they were like they were just they looked very I was talking around there I was like came hey, we gotta go and then as we were like pulling out of this elementary school which is like right where my ex lived Max was like let's go egg someone's house and I was like dude let's fucking egg my ex's house First I was saying, let's egg her house. Then we decided not to because I was like, I'm the only person that really knows where she lives and would do something like that. So I I knew that she would know that it was me that did that. Then I was like, oh, what about this girl? Which everybody in the car knew who it was. So everybody was like, heck yeah, like we all hate her. We all were like, all right, let's go buy some eggs. So we went and bought some eggs just like two streets down. And we came past her house, turned around, so we were on her side. And as we are passing, it, it was too far. It was like a really long driveway to her house that you couldn't like easily throw from a car at like 30-ish miles per hour. So then we kept on going and like Max was hanging out of my car and he got back in. We're driving and the next thing I know is that there's a cop that pulls up on like the left side of like the street and I was like, oh shit. And I was like, guys, just like, act normal. And all of our seatbelts are off. Like, we have <laughs> eggs in our hands. So I was like, get your seatbelts on and put all the eggs in the container and put it under my seat. Well, Hannah had a fucking egg just chilling in her pocket, like, and then she pulled it out and she was, like, trying to hand it to me. And I'm not, like, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. So she was just, like, sitting there playing with an egg. Yeah, so next thing I know is this cop starts, like, kind of tagging behind us and at this point I couldn't tell if he was following us or just driving his route. Kept on going, took the first right, he took that right and I was like, ah oh, crap, like, uh, uh, we got to the main street again. So then we took a left on the main street and went back towards the market that we bought the eggs at. And I was like, let's go to the market and pretend like we're actually doing something. Like we're not just like out here goofing around. And so we like pulled up, I was like, hey, let's pretend like we're buying Subway. Max was like, oh, I'll buy some Subway so it actually looks like we're doing something. So we all got out of the car, and the cop was like, you, and I was like, me? I smiled when he said it before, when I got out of I the know, car. I was smiling when he, like, first said it. He was like, yeah, and I was just like, okay. So I went and talked to him, and he was just like, were you doing donuts up in the elementary school parking lot? And I was like, ha, no, this is a front-wheel drive car. I can't do donuts. And he was just like, Still, were you? And I was just like, nope. <laughs> and 
I was like, but I understand, like, you're just looking out, you know? And uh, he's like, well, I got an exact description of your car that you were doing that. And I was like, oh, well, that wasn't us. And he's like, well, then what are you doing? Like, why were you so close to the elementary school with, with this car? And I was like, oh, well, we just came from Meets Group and we're trying to get some food, but I drove past it the first time we went around it. So I just went around in the neighborhood. And he was just like, okay. I was like, nice talking to you, trying to shake his hand. He just gave me a dirty look, hopped in his car. And I was like, have a good day. And that color on your car looks great. Cause I wanted to say some dumb shit before uh, he hopped in his car. So that's how that conversation went. You probably think this song is about you. You're so vain, so vain.